What's up everyone? In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing some of the shortcuts that's available to us within Resume. So I figured I'd share one of my favorites with you guys first. And I know a lot of us end up in this situation or have before. Let's say something happens with the display that you're outputting to, and now your display is being sent to your laptop screen. And so your entire laptop screen is taken over, and now we can no longer see our composition. So instead of frantically hitting the escape button or the windows key there's actually a correct shortcut to get out of this and that's going to be control or command shift d for display and once we do that we're out of it so that one's super helpful another one that i found to be pretty useful is let's say i like the look of my output monitor and i use this from time to time and i want to take a snapshot so if you want to take a snapshot of what we have going on in our output monitor you can hit control or command shift p and then that is going to send a snapshot to wherever that uh, file directory is. I believe the default file directory for your snapshots is going to be in recorded in within your Resolume Avenue or Arena folder. And then another one that I've found to be a pretty unique shortcut. Let's say we want we don't really like the look of this particular thumbnail. Let's choose this one. It's kind of zoomed out. So you can select this thumbnail here, and you can hit Control Shift T. And every time you hit the T key, it's going to go to a new frame within that clip. So now it's a little bit more zoomed in. It looks a little better. So that one's a fun to play. That one's fun to play around with. Other ones that I found to help speed up my workflow are going to be instead of all the way here for our shortcuts and we want to edit our, our um, MIDI interface what we can do is you can hit control hit control shift M and that's going to pull up our MIDI optimization hit control shift M to exit back out same thing for the keyboard sh shortcuts so let's say you want to create some hotkeys what you can do is you can hit control shift K and now we can edit our, our own uh, keyboard hotkeys then another one that's um, important to use sometimes will be let's instead of just coming all the way here for output in advance if you just want to do it really quick you can hit control or command shift a and then that's going to pull up our um, advanced display settings and then another one that I want to share with you guys and I found this one to be super useful lately is going to be how we select our uh, we select our clips let's say we want to copy a bunch at once so if you hit control a it's going to select all of your clips and this one's super important to use like let's say you need to adjust the the um, width and height for all of your clips and you need everything in 4k versus um, an 80 sometimes you end up in a situation where you need to adjust all of your um, clips for certain panels that you're displaying to so you'll hit Control A, and then you'll just come over here, and you can adjust like the width and height. These are right now it's on a PNG, but most of my clips are in 1080. But yeah, that's a quick way to do that. Just Control A. But let's say that we want to select just a handful of these these clips here. So what we can do is instead of copying or duplicating the um, layer itself. Sometimes we don't want to do that, right? Sometimes we don't want to just copy the whole layer, add a whole nother one, and we want to just select, let's say, this row of effects. So hit Control here, hit Control Shift here. It's going to select everything in between the final selection. And so then we can just hit Copy, and we can throw that into another, another deck or something. And same thing, you can just hit Control there, and then Control Shift all the way to the very end. And that's going to select all of those. And it's a lot faster than just holding control and just selecting each one. So that one's super useful as well. But that's pretty much it for some important hotkeys. I hope you all found this useful. And as always, thanks for watching.